Okay, so here's the tail. Uh, you can see a paint marker. Uh, I'm just going to take where that white paint is. I just, I just freehand it. I just draw it in. I mark a center line right from the side. You can, it's kind of hard to see. And I just know to kind of. That's where I'm going to go to my absolute end. I'm going to come in about a strong eighth and uh, just kind of freehand it. And what's going to happen? Again, one-handed. <laughs> this is so, this gets kind of hard. But that's going to go into it, okay? And I'm going right to the table. I'll just cut it off later. It just makes life easy. But I'm ready to go. Um, that upper laundron, um, boy, that really laid in there nice. I cut those three pieces of wood exactly the same. The table's level, so the pieces should be the same. I used uh, an EMT clamp, half inch, which snaps on three-quarter outside diameter tubing. So you get that in electrical department for three quarter, and uh, I got three of them. Uh, what else? I ended up using actually some brackets down here just just to make it a little stiffer. These these things on the side I just toenailed or with screws rather. But the, the, this assembly is so strong it absolutely will not move. I mean it is absolutely solid. One of the reasons why there's no like movement side to side is because the front of the fuselage is locked in. This is a truss structure, so you know, side to side, it just will not move. That's the beauty of building a truss. Uh, so once these blocks came in, I mean, it is it is so incredibly solid. There is just zero give in it. And if you go to shake this at all, the entire table moves. So that's how, that's how uh, solid it is. Um, so I'm going to work on the upper long around the two lower long rounds, I'm just going to kind of shape it and shape it and just bring it in, level it. One thing nice about using a three foot tall piece is I can put a nice level on that thing. On the bottom, I just took two blocks and screwed them in tight, okay? So I can adjust it this way and just, it'll kind of just hang out there by itself so I don't need to worry about it. And I know it's dead nuts on that center line and this upper long run's on its center line, so we're good to go. This is really starting to shape up. It's going to be exciting. Once this is done, I'm going to tack weld that in and uh, start doing my side pieces, intercostals, and it'll really start looking like something.